Welcome back to Move Evolutions Foam Rolling 101. And the question is, should you foam roll an injury? This is an easy one. No. Like you should never guess what an injury is, don't guess how to treat it. And remember what the main goal of foam rolling is. It's to increase your overall performance, to increase your movement fluidity. If you, are, if you have an injury, the muscle's gonna protect itself, the body's gonna protect itself, the muscles may get more tense and retract or shorten. They're not going, going to want to be used. You foam roll an injury, increase the, the, the inflammation, increase the pain, the muscle's going to generate less force. It's not going to want to cooperate when you want to contract it and lengthen it. So no, don't foam roll an injured body part or muscle until you find out what it is. So as always, seek out a specialist, get the right diagnosis, then he or she can, can prescribe the right foam rolling regimen if it is appropriate. So no, <laughs> don't, don't, don't foam roll an injury. And just a little, as a little caveat, um, people tend to foam roll trigger points. They take a little cross ball or whatever and they go right to the, please don't until you find out what the issue is. You may get lucky, it may help, but you, again, you may cause more damage, more inflammation, and set things back even longer. Heal, move, roll, evolve. Walk this way. We live in Brooklyn, with the type street curb hangers and the beat don't stop.